The movie begins by showing two pairs of teenage couples who choose to flee their homes and live free on the streets as a family. The first couple is Ga Young and Jin Il, while the second is Bong Gil and Min Kyung. To survive, they often steal around the town and sell the stolen goods to others for cash. On that day, after having dinner at a food stall, Bong Gil and Jin Il started doing their job by stealing a motorbike in an alley and taking it to the hideout. The next day, they sold the motorbike to a stranger hoping to get enough money to cover their needs for the next few weeks. Unfortunately, when that stranger came with his partner, instead of paying for the motorbike, they beat Bong Gil and Jin Il and left with the stolen motorbike. Bong Gil and Jin Il could only give up seeing it being taken away by those men. In the evening, Bong Gil and Jin Il went to dinner with their girlfriends at a small food stall to discuss their plans for the future. Ga Young and Min Kyung realized their money was running low, so they took the initiative to work as prostitutes. Hearing that, Jin Il immediately forbade Ga Young and warned her that the job was too dangerous, but she did not listen to his advice at all and still insisted on going to work with Min Kyung. After Ga Young and Min Kyung went out, Jin Il scolded Bong Gil, who only thought of himself and didn't care what his girlfriend did. Despite their quarrel, Jin Il and Bong Gil decided not to continue the debate and began to sneak out of the store secretly. When the restaurant owner called them to pay the bill, they ran as fast as possible into an alley. They've been stealing food and drink all this time to survive in the harsh world. Jin Il has always been a leader who guards the four of them, but they will always try to take care of each other when one is in trouble. After a while, Jin Il asked Bong Gil to contact Ga Young and Min Kyung so they could both pick them up. But Ga Young and Min Kyung rejected the call because they still did not get customers. Meanwhile, Min Kyung was watching Ga Young, who was waiting for customers at a quiet intersection. Shortly after, a middle-aged man named Hyung Suk approached Ga Young and invited her to stay at a hotel. Ga Young accepted the offer after Hyung Suk said he had a lot of money and would pay her a decent amount. Upon arrival at the hotel, they talked briefly, and Hyung Suk offered a job to Ga Young. He admitted that he had a karaoke club in the city and wanted her to work as one of the servants at the club. At first, Ga Young felt hesitant because she thought he only wanted to deceive her and hire her as a prostitute. Meanwhile, Jin Il and Bong Gil went to see Min Kyung, who was waiting at the intersection. When Jin Il found out that Ga Young had gone with a stranger to a hotel, he began to worry and scold Min Kyung. They rushed to the hotel to pick up Ga Young. After searching every room, Jin Il and Bong Gil finally found Ga Young's room and broke into it. Yung Suk beat up Jin Il and Bong Gil, causing a fierce fight. Fortunately, Jin Il and Bong Gil escaped from the hotel and safely took Ga Young away. They even took Yung Suk's car and rushed out to their hideout. In the car, Jin Il kept nagging Ga Young for not picking up his phone and putting herself in a dangerous situation. Ga Young said she didn't have time to call him because Hyung Suk kept asking her to talk. In the middle of the night, the hungry Bong Gil and Min Kyung asked Jin Il to go out for dinner, but he intended to sell the stolen car immediately before Hyung Suk found them. After a few hours, a young man came in with a car and walked over to them. At first, they thought the person was a potential buyer who would buy the stolen car, but it turned out that he was a psychopathic killer named Soon Hoon. Jin Il and Bong Gil rushed with their girlfriends to escape. The two couples ran apart in different directions, where Bong Gil and Min Kyung ran into a small alley while Jin Il and Ga Young hid in a dark basement. After successfully escaping, they again met at a crossroads. At the same time, Hyung Suk borrowed a cell phone from store staff and called his friend to pick him up in front of the store because his car had been stolen. The scene back to Jin Il and his friends who were having dinner at a restaurant after a long tiring run. After what had happened to her that night, Jin Il worried about Ga Young's condition. In the meantime, Hyung Suk and his men began to search for four teenagers who had stolen his car to teach them a lesson. They planned to check all the hotels in the surrounding area. After searching some places, Hyung Suk found Ga Young in front of a mini market. He immediately beat Jin Il, who had just come out of the mini market. While Bong Gil and Min Kyung preferred to escape from the place and let Jin Il and Ga Young get caught by Hyung Suk. After beating up Jin Il, Hyung Suk and his men brought the couple into his karaoke club to investigate their identities. However, because he could not find their identity cards, Hyung Suk asked Ga Young to contact her stepmother. Unfortunately, Ga Young's stepmother ignored her and hung up the phone call. As a result, Hyung Suk asked Ga Young and Jin Il to sign a compensation contract for his lost car. In the agreement, Ga Young had to work at Hyung Suk's karaoke club until Jin Il could pay off all the debt. After Hyung Suk and his team left the room, Jin Il promised Ga Young that he would pay off the debt as soon as possible so she would no longer have to work there. The next day, Bong Gil and Min Kyung met Jin Il in a parking lot and asked about Ga Young's whereabouts, but he did not answer. On the other hand, Ga Young still works at Hyung Suk's karaoke place and is always under close supervision. Even when she returned to her inn, Hyung Suk always ordered his men to take her home. While at the inn, Ga Young looked very moody and was not passionate about doing anything because she kept thinking about Jin Il. After Jin Il and Bong Gil stole a cell phone from a little boy, they went with Min Kyung to the subway station to rest. In the afternoon, Jin Il sold the stolen cell phone to a man he knew. 
The man said that Jin Il's cousin kept calling and asking him about his whereabouts. He asked the man not to say anything about him. The night at the karaoke, when a drunken young man was about to tease Ga Young, but Hyung Suk immediately pulled him and took him away from her. Soon after, Jin Il came to the karaoke and paid the installment owed to Hyung Suk with the money he got from selling the stolen cell phone. Jin Il also asked Hyung Suk to record a voice while saying that he had received the money as proof so that he would not cheat. Before leaving, Jin Il went to see Ga Young to talk for a while, but she still didn't seem excited because she didn't enjoy the job. After that, Jin Il invited Bong Gil to enter the karaoke after seeing two karaoke guards who went out in a car. He found out that the guy guarding the karaoke was only one guard left, so he planned to take Ga Young away from the place the next night. On the other hand, when Hyun Suk returned home, his wife scolded him because the business they had been running lately was losing. In the middle of the fight, Hyun Suk suddenly got a call from his men that they had found his car, which had been taken away by Sung Hoon. Hyun Suk and his men immediately went to see Sung Hoon to retrieve the car by negotiating. But when he came there, Sung Hoon and his friends attacked him with the iron pipe he always carried in the car's trunk, so there was a fierce fight among them. After Hyun Suk succeeded in beating up Sung Hoon and his men, he called out his partner to negotiate with Sung Hoon. His men asked Sung Hoon to pay compensation for the damage to Hyun Suk's car, or they would take it as collateral. But instead of responding, he asked Jin Il where Hyun Suk was. The following night, Jin Il and Bong Gil intentionally came to karaoke and intended to take Ga Young away from the place. But Hyun Suk beat them both, and when Ga Young saw the incident, she kept begging Hyun Suk to stop the fight. That night, when Jin Il was having dinner with Bong Gil and Min Kyung at a noodle food stall, he saw the news about the theft of a jewelry shop on TV. Jin Il recognized one of the perpetrators and intended to deceive the thief so he could get the stolen jewelry. Jin Il urged Bong Gil to help him, but he refused because it was too dangerous for them. Since Jin Il kept forcing him, he decided to meet the thief and carry out the fraud plan. After that, they went to meet the two thieves at a car junkyard. Unfortunately, the two thieves found out that Jin Il was trying to fool them, so they beat Jin Il and Bong Gil. They even intended to take the bag Bong Gil was carrying, but after learning that it contained only fabric, they became furious and immediately stabbed Bong Gil with a knife. When Min Kyung saw the wounded Bong Gil at the hospital, she cried and blamed Jin Il for the incident. Jin Il, who couldn't do much, could only apologize before he finally left the hospital. The scene back to Hyung Suk, who just got information about Sung Hoon's background. His friend said that Sung Hoon was a serial killer who had committed many heinous crimes, but he could be freed from the law because he had a lot of money. After that, Hyung Suk went to see Sung Hoon to their previous agreement. After Sung Hoon handed his car certificate to Hyung Suk, he said that Jin Il had taken away his girlfriend. But Hyung Suk didn't care about Sung Hoon's personal affairs and hurried away. Without noticing, Sung Hoon had sent someone secretly following and watching him. The scene turns to the hospital, where Bong Gil and Min Kyung are met by several police officers for an interview. It turned out that the police officers wanted to investigate the whereabouts of Jin Il for all the theft cases he had been doing. Meanwhile, Jin Il came to a car shop owned by his uncle to borrow some money to free Ga Young, but his uncle refused because he did not have enough money. In the meantime, Sung Hoon and his friends secretly followed Hyung Suk's car. When Hyung Suk dropped his partner off at a crossroads, he asked his friend to arrest Hyung Suk's partner. At the same time, the police managed to find Jin Il in the car shop and intended to take him to the police station. He begged the police officer to release him so he could save his girlfriend, who is currently trapped in a karaoke club. He explained that his girlfriend would be traded by the owner of the karaoke club, so he had to immediately take Ga Young away from the place. He also said that he would turn himself into the police after he managed to save Ga Young. However, the police did not believe Jin Il's words and still took him to the police station for questioning. Upon Jin Il's arrival at the police station, he was shocked to see Min Kyung and Bong Gil being interrogated by police officers, so he tried to convince the police that they were innocent. On the other hand, Hyung Suk, who had just come to his house, was surprised by Sung Hoon and his friends coming. It turned out that Sung Hoon had managed to obtain information about Hyung Suk's address from his friend, who had been arrested by Sung Hoon's men. With anger, Hyung Suk intended to beat up Sung Hoon, but his partner stopped him and asked Sung Hoon's gang to get out of the house. In the evening, Jin Il and the police officers came to Hyung Suk's karaoke place to find out if his statement was true. The two police officers wanted to impersonate a karaoke customer to enter, but the two karaoke guards were already aware of their location. They contacted Hyung Suk to report the incident. When the two police officers came in, they asked to be served by a teenage girl. But Hyung Suk said that the prostitutes who worked there were only 30-year-old women. As a result, the police officers released Jin Il's handcuffs and let him go to see Hyung Suk. After he and a police officer entered the club to pay off the debt installments, he said he wanted to see Ga Young. But Hyung Suk realized that the man who came with Jin Il was a cop, so he pretended not to recognize the girl named Ga Young. Hearing that, Jin Il felt very angry and immediately beat him up because he kept pretending to know nothing. After seeing the incident, 
The police officers thought Janil had lied to them and decided to take him to the police station. But when the police officer was off guard, he used the opportunity to escape and hide in a housing area. After running the police chase, he could only cry, mourning all the bad things that happened to him and his friends. Shortly after, when Hyung Suk was about to go home, Janil secretly followed him using the motorbike he had just stolen. Hyung Suk stopped his car at the red light to give his daughter pocket money. Janil, who saw the incident, intends to kidnap Hyung Suk's daughter to force Hyung Suk to give up Ga Young. In the evening, Hyung Suk got a phone call from his daughter saying she had been kidnapped by Jin Il. Hearing this, he immediately got out of bed and said he would hand Ga Young over to Jin Il, begging him not to hurt his daughter. After that, Hyung Suk rushed to Jin Il's location to pick up his daughter and asked his men to hand over Ga Young to Jin Il. He called Sung Hoon and gave information on Jin Il's whereabouts, hoping he would hit Jin Il first. On the other hand, Hyung Suk's men returned Ga Young's cell phone and let her go. She then went out and called Jin Il to immediately meet her at the subway station. Soong Hoon ordered his men to follow her secretly when she left the inn. Meanwhile, Soong Hoon came to Hyung Suk's men's place and beat them up with a baseball bat. The scene turns to the police station, where Jin Il contacted Bong Gil, who was still at the police station. He asked the police officers to pick up Ga Young at the subway station. At the same time, Bong Gil and Min Kyung went from the police station to see Jin Il and Ga Young. Back to Hyung Suk, who had just arrived at his partner's house where he found his partner had been beaten up by Soong Hoon. Feeling angry, he immediately strangled Soong Hoon's neck and intended to kill him. But Hyung Suk recalls that his daughter was still kidnapped by Jin Il, so he decided to release Soong Hoon and beg him not to hurt his daughter. On the other hand, Ga Young who had arrived at the subway station contacted Jin Il and told him that she had almost arrived at the meeting location. Hearing that, he left the hiding place and took Hyung Suk's daughter. Meanwhile, the seriously injured Hyung Suk is still on his way to Jin Il's hideout. His friend advised him to go to the hospital, but he refused because he had to save his daughter immediately. At the same time, Jin Il finally reunited with Ga Young in a parking area, while Hyung Suk's daughter contacted Hyung Suk to pick her up at the exact location. Unfortunately, Jin Il and Ga Young's happiness was broken when Soong Hoon and his partner came to beat him up. Ga Young, who was panicked, tried to escape from the place, but Soong Hoon's partner had already caught her first. Soong Hoon beat Jin Il to death, while Ga Young could only cry when she was forced into Soong Hoon's car and was about to be taken away. At the same time, Hyung Suk managed to find his daughter and asked his partner to bring his daughter back to their house. Soon after, Bong Gil and Min Kyung came to Jin Il's place to help Jin Il, who had been beaten up by Soong Hoon. He tried to beat Soong Hoon, but he got beaten back by him. When Soong Hoon's partner was about to help him finish off Bong Gil, Hyung Suk suddenly appeared from behind and immediately beat up Soong Hoon's partner. After beating Soong Hoon, he intends to kill Jin Il, who has dared to kidnap his daughter, but Ga Young begs him to release Jin Il. As a result, he decided to release Jin Il and leave. Before the police arrived, Soong Hoon asked Ga Young to leave Jin Il and return to him. It turned out that he was Ga Young's ex-boyfriend and Jin Il's cousin who had been hunting him to take her back. Soong Hoon's words made Jin Il so angry that he immediately pushed him away from the building barrier. As a result, Soong Hoon and Jin Il were killed at the scene, while Ga Young could only cry when she saw her boyfriend leaving for good. The moral that can be learned from this movie is, not to let our emotions control our actions because it will only put us in an increasingly complicated situation.